Thanks to newly developed technology, we here at Late Night have the ability to record the tiny voice that is inside Donald Trump's head. And you might be surprised to know that like everyone's inner voice, Donald Trump's is filled with paralyzing fear and self-doubt. So here is the tiny voice in the back of Donald Trump's head. Something that we think is very valuable. Hey, Donald. It's the tiny voice in the back of your head. And I'm here to remind you that you hate being president and you would give anything right now to trade places with this little kid in his dad's lap to your right. You have to pretend to listen to this lady and nod. Meanwhile, he gets to play with his dad's big old hand. Looks like so much fun rocking back and forth. And you have to sit still. He probably gets to throw a temper tantrum too. And when he throws a temper tantrum, it's cute. But when you do it, everyone on CNN says, oh, he's a baby. Oh, now he's gonna yawn. Oh, you wanna yawn so bad. And oh, that lucky son of a bitch is taking a nap. Intellectual property rights. Hey, Donald, it's me, the tiny voice in the back of your head. And wow, look at your Secretary of Commerce, Wilbur Ross. You thought you would get to work with the coolest people if you were president. But look who is in your cabinet. A very small man hovering around the age of 112 who does not know how to lower a microphone. It looks like his eyeballs are giving a speech. And if his eyeballs were giving a speech, I bet they'd say, somebody get us out of this old ass head. No one is watching this right now saying, oh, I wish I could switch places with Donald Trump and hang out with Wilbur Ross and Mike Pence. Look what you've done with your life. You used to roll with porn stars and now you're with Boarsville and Snoresville. Sad. <laughs>